Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. The fan is going, it's a nice day. I have my glasses this time. And this is my well-used balloon, which I may or may not use again. These are containers that instead of adding paint to my tray to do a balloon dip in, I'm going to use. that. Came Those two came from Michael's. That's like that. I don't know what these are going to be like. Anyway, they're called Celebrate It, and if I can find something similar, I'll stick them on my Amazon link. And this is my today's experiment. We'll see how this works. These are a set of four silicone travel bottles, which I'm looking into adding to my Amazon link, but um, the ones I've seen so far on the Amazon link have a texture on them, and I would prefer no texture because I'm going to use it like a balloon, I expect. It may or may not work. I'll, I'll make something work out. I'm still a lot sore from carpal tunnel, but um, nothing's going to stop me from trying to paint. And I am going to use my tray again, and I'm going to put out a few different colors. And I've wanted to do this for a while with just, yes, yeah, slowly, maybe with the other hand, actually. Do two colors in each dish. You know that's going to go away soon. It's going to be three colors before you know it. Anyway, so... This is my first try at this. We'll see how this goes. There's probably way more color there than I need, but, um, but yeah, you know what? I just gotta do it. I've got some colors to use up, and I really like that. Uh, I think that's got some iridescent pearl fine from Golden in it added to it. And I wasn't gonna throw that in there, but I happen to know it might be one of the few colors that's actually um, shaking right now, because I don't think I went overboard on trying to shake. All right, so I got one more one more container, and I think what I wanted to do... Did I shake it? Oh, boy. All right, I'll try. That is a beautiful... I think that's an Anita's metallic, and what I want to go with that is either this pink or that orange, and I think it ought to be this pink. And those colors are hanging out if I need to add something. I really wanted something brighter colored in here, but I'm afraid that if I don't add the white, I should have a dish for white. I'm going to do that off, off camera. I have a dish for white. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But I want some of that. Is the, uh, that's some mica powder. I don't even know if that's going to work, but it's basically the same color as the, um, the folk art neon purple. See? Um, all right, so these colors go away. I really like the black canvas I used last time. I did a, uh, a bursting balloon roll, and I could do all kinds of stuff with it, I think. But um, I think the first thing I need to do is make sure that's shaked. Shaken? <laughs> shaked. Yeah. It's like I hurt my wrist, but my brain suffered. <laughs> all right, um, remove the leaves and see if we can very slowly and very gently on the wrist spread paint with the spatula. And I'm loving that I can do this. Yes! Ha! I have no idea how this is going to work. It looks like I just picked up a little piece of flotsam there. You can feel it dragging while you push your spatula across the canvas surface, which is actually pretty nice for somebody who doesn't screep their flow troll. And that would be me. I have found that all of my paint bottles are staying open with no caps, better than they stayed open with caps. So that's the weird news that's ongoing that I'm going to keep delivering, and um, I dare you to try it. It's a really small air hole, air hole at the top, and not enough air gets into those paint bottles to clog them up. But enough paint in the caps gets into the hole to clog them up every time. So I'm just going to knock that off for right now. I have a spare. I do want, oh, I want, to, I want to try with that balloon first so bad. But you know what? If I don't like it, then I'll do that. So let's bring those colors over here. Maybe you can see some of those. I hope so. That would be nice. So, oh boy, I'm really nervous. Um, I'm going to just grab a little bit and see what happens. I can't leave those colors right there because then I can't turn my turntable, so that's not helpful. All right, so I'm going to go one of each color combinations across from each other. 
and let them drip down. And I'm going to grab myself another, no, I'm going to use this little one, and I'm going to scrape my colors from my balloon off in there and see what happens with that. I don't really like wasting colors, as you well know, but um, I do need to experiment. So I'm going to grab the oranges next. Maybe, oh, I don't want to use a little more as long as I've got that black in there. But I am going to keep scraping it off right in there. I wasn't sure, I really had no idea if this was going to work or not. All right. Now, whether I can get that black, hmm. No, I'll just double dip. The only time double dips are good. And then I'm going to just use the color I've got on there. Because I don't see why not. Now, it does leave this sort of mark down the middle because of the pressure of the silicone is much denser than the, um, than the balloon. But maybe I should use the balloon here, here at some point in time. Yeah, I can just scrape most of that right off into that little container, which will be really cool. And then the rest goes on my shirt, as per usual. Um, I want some more of that orange. And I want it to be turned around so that I have the lighter color toward the inside. Just learning how to use this. It's different, for sure. And maybe I could get better at it with time. I'm kind of liking my scrapings. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Um, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I have other colors here, so I'm going to try and use the pink and the, uh, the red metallic combination. Try not to roll my wrist too much. Rolling my wrist was the original instruction. There we go. Lighter touch helps a lot. But uh, rolling my wrist is really not an option right now. So I just lose the red. So it depends on whichever color you start with the dip is the color you're going to get to keep. And I definitely don't want to waste any colors. So I am just going to try and move it. I'm going to roll it over on the side and use the color it's there. And I may do all kinds of weird stuff to this. I don't know yet. I haven't made up my mind. What else do I... I didn't use hardly any colors. I mean, they're all still there. <laughs> and I haven't used the white either. But you know what? Maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe I want to try the white. And I've got a seam on the edge, which I'm thinking about filing down with my glass file, which might be really cool. But in the meantime, let's just find out what it looks like right now. Got to redip. I probably might, generally, I would have gone back and forth across so that I wouldn't have endangered getting black paint mixed in with the white, but I'm not sure I really care. That's not as rounded as I would want it, so I think I'm just going to keep adding. Now I am schmutzing up my white. This definitely looks more like a flower than some have. And my wrist is definitely burning, but at least it's not the same kind of pain it was when it started, which was good. I'm really thinking that um, I haven't played with a basting brush nearly enough. I have played with chain, but I never get enough of it. So I'm just going to keep using this little tool. The silicone, what is it? They're, um, they're travel silicone containers for organizing your... I'm going to wipe that off because that was too much black on there. Still too much black on there. That's going in the, in the little container. I like how easily that wipes off. So That's an interesting idea. I kind of want to try that. Let's find my straw. I cleaned it yesterday. There's a smaller one. That'll work. I think I need a little bit more, but I kind of like the texture of that with the black in between. It's different. It's kind of fun, too. It's definitely an experiment.
All right, that just makes me want to spiral things out. Um, let me grab the dull end of a skewer and see if I can get away with dragging. Once I drag some paint, then I can drag it back and add it to the center so it's a much lighter spiral in there, if I'm lucky. And it should add a little bit of uniformity, unless I go rogue. I like spirals, you know that about me. <laughs> and I could always blow them out. But I kind of like this being different than most of the things I've done or seen. Just using the, the black negative space behind to drag into the white and vice versa. Makes a nice contrast in the center, I, I like it. Just simple spirals around and around. Filling in my very organic, not very perfect flower form, which is still kind of cool I, anyway. I'm wondering what I can add for colors. I never actually have done one of these where I add very much in the way of colors to, um, to just, just via the squeeze bottles. Um, I'm going to try and even that up a little bit. So that means what? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm going to try and put as many more. My black paint is not as even as I was expecting it to be, but my wrist is not as useful as I thought it was going to be either. But it's doing a whole lot better than it was and doing a lot better than I expected, to tell you the truth. So that's cool. So I could add gold to the center or maybe some purple. The purple is kind of calling me. It's always calling me. Yes, I heard you. <laughs> I heard you say that. When does it not? <laughs> Belligerent audience. So that's kind of cool. I don't mind filling in there. That's just kind of cool the way it is. But um, it's not going to keep me from wanting to try to do a little more. And I'm just going to use my pink all the way around. Just barely, barely touching the canvas. Well, the paint is still wet. It's a warmer day than it's been for a while. Thank you. Oh, gosh. It was really, it was definitely sweater weather in Florida here for the past 10 days or so. At least it seemed like 10 days to me. Not yet having to used to raiding the cupboard for my blankie from Maine. Yes, she called it a blankie. Yeah, that's kind of sad, isn't it? But never mind. I don't like it better yet, <laughs> but I didn't decide to, um, I do like that purple. Maybe that's the next thing I'm going to do. Let me go back over that one again. Yeah, why not? The reason why not, actually, that now that it occurs to me, is because I need to have some white. I see that dog hair. Why is there a dog hair in my painting? Okay, these can obviously not be super evenly dispersed, but it's an organic form, so let's just figure... We'll call it windblown or something. We'll call it tussled. Uh, no, it's still not good. All right, so we don't know what we're doing, but we're having fun doing it. And I can actually squeeze. I couldn't get my hair clip on my head for like, I don't know, three days. And I was like, this is not happening. So I'm thinking I'm just going to stick a skewer in there. The temptation is the basting brush, but I think that that will get it too mucky too, qu too quickly. And I can still add gold if I wanted to. Or I'm thinking maybe my favorite, oh, that's getting to be a little fiery on the old wrist there couple few more and you can do this. Come on, get it done. It was really nice in the beginning. I hope I didn't screw it up. Um, I'm really tempted to go ahead and add some of that right there because I'm not so sure that that black streak is what I absolutely want. 
but I could do the same thing. Around the center. That was kind of brazen of me, but that's okay, because that's my MO anyway. Rule breaker. <laughs> Makes me want another color in there. What other color do I want in there? I want the brighter orange. And there it is. Lovely. Love how that happened. Come on. Oh no, not the slow and tedious release of orange, please. Yes, okay, but I have a much better chance of a, of a smooth application. So that's really not a bad thing. Glad the fan is on. Come on. I don't have patience. I have just as little patience right now as I ever have had. Maybe less. All right, so I'm going to grab a skewer. Am I? Yes, I am. I'm going to grab, grab a cleaner skewer that does not have everything in the world stuck to it. And... I'm going to rotate it so I'm not stuck with an abundance of color, and then I'm going to wipe it off into my little container, which is looking pretty cute, as far as colors go, anyway. I am a lot more, I am a lot slower right now, i got to say. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it looks like I didn't set my timer. Oh, no, I didn't set my timer, so no idea when this is going to end. I'll have to finish quickly now. I think I need a little bit of that and a little bit of that to fake that out right now. It didn't really work, but that's okay. I'm not at, I'm not at full power right now. Magic is temporarily waylaid. That just makes me want to really... Yes. <laughs> Have some fun. Use every power at my disposal. And call it good pretty quick, because... Once you know your timer's not going, <laughs> you're kind of in trouble. Um... Boy, center out or not? What else do I have? I don't have anything else I want to use. So I'm going for it. I might like this. I'm kind of hoping so. I know it's going to be different. I like the negative space back there in the in-betweens. Probably should have left some of it. Well, it is what it is. I'm not operating at full speed, but I do like it. It's pretty cool. I am going to torch. Call it good. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, expressionist at Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, Would you please be so kind as to give me a thumbs up? If you want to help me out, you can go shopping on Shop Now buttons on Facebook pages Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more. If you would like to be a member of a group for students, it's Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation. If you would like to be a member of a group where I will eventually put all of my, all of my video artworks and all my other current artworks, that would be Expressionist Art Studio Gallery uh, fans and collectors. And this is... Uh, this is not bad. I kind of really don't mind it a bit, all things considered. I'm pretty happy, and it was a good warm-up for me today, and I needed one. I've got a list here. So I have Teespring clothing under the video, and uh, you can find all over print t-shirts and leggings. And if you guys ever have a question or you need a link, please just ask me. You can click my face if you need to get to my channel, where you can find nine playlists. The last one is being populated, but the other eight have a hundred-ish in them. Um, yeah, you can, they're binge-worthy. <laughs> you can find my book and my tools 